If you want to send a message to the full ham fans as they go at yard for this parity, go tell them. Now to just come enjoy the pitch. Enjoy Guardiola football. Enjoy Guardiola football. <laughs> Feed their eyes with good passes. Then go as with trashing. <laughs> no matter the squad, they need put in. Full and go sing wrong food. See their belly food. Then collect as their belly food go as. See <laughs> that prophecy. That prophecy video will come to pass like this. Hey, uh, the prophecy video <laughs> said this will come. Oh, but yeah. me, I know football. I know they. I know they. I know believe all those prophecy and all those. Don't attach football, football with, with all those with spirituality. Yes, I know. I don't like that one at all. <laughs> because if you check where no. Body, no team for this war pray rich Nigerian team. <laughs> Why would never come? Half time with the pray. Full After time with the pray. pray. <laughs> Why would never be walk up? <laughs> Why would never even reach? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and people from all over the world. You're welcome to this exciting episode of the much missed <laughs> box 18 weekend football preview show here on football fan stripe so if you're new to this channel i beg just no say with the interview niger football fans after matches and we're giving niger football fan content back to back so please and i beg click the subscribe button and thanks so much for watching so the afcon is currently on and just a quick one before we get into the video main main i want to um give a special shout out to some people that sent donations for our support as we went down to Cameroon and we were able to watch Spy Goes live before our journey was <laughs> cut short. So I'm just going to mention their names, the people that sent in donations to the PayPal link and of course the Nigerian bank account that I provided. If your name is skipped, please just know that it's not intentional because um, the mistake we made was that um, it was a very, very busy account that was sent. So this is just the list. So in case you were missed or in case you're missed in this list, we are very, very sorry. But um, we move. <laughs> All right. So Idoko, Emmanuel, Omar, Lucas, Johnson, Toluashe, Shama Bontin, Ingbae Ruke, Chidebere, Ayula, Atunrasi, Onome, Owari, Hope, Ngamelu, Ekemini, Umoren, Glory, Adams, Francis, Tafunai, um, Oluwayemi, Adedoni, Okengo, Ambrose, Adeyanju, Adewale, Omotosho, Harry, Folon Show, Chidera, Miriam, and the CEO of BK um, Industries. Thank you very much for the um, donations you sent because um, we really you. appreciate you. And Thank um, you. your donations went, they played a very, very huge part in getting us down to Cameroon and watching the AFCON live. So really appreciate you. And of course, to all the people that send in super chats, you know, saying on your YouTube account, they show when they send the super chats. So we know if you really know your name directly, but you know yourself and we appreciate you because without you, that journey would have been very, very impossible. We are looking forward to the World Cup and of course the games against Ghana. But um, a final shout out to our friends from Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> We support you and our We support Cameroon, you yes. guys. Even as even, even as much as an adult come out, it's part of football. <laughs> yes, so we yeah. support you guys. Uh, so um, you guys are really really good hosts. Yes, for, for hosting Nigeria, for hosting the Nations Cup and for taking care of us while in Cameroon very, very well. And we enjoy our well, stay. Very well. We support you. Even support if you even guys. if um, exit from the Nations Cup means nothing. It means something shallow, but at least it's part of football. And uh, we hope you guys are back stronger for the next edition. And of course, hopefully we will see each other for Qatar when we go for the World Cup. So thank you to everybody. Thank Every you. Cameroonian watching this channel. And to all Cameroonians, we really appreciate you. And uh, Alex, um, the indomitable lion. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into the business at hand. The weekend football preview show. So we'll be discussing um, the coming um, FA Cup, Bundesliga, Serie A and uh, La Liga games. My name is Stokes. I didn't introduce myself since. I'm very, very sorry about that. At my right hand side, the left hand side, we have Dan the Chelsea man. Thank you. Have fun, my brother. Fine, bro. Fine. <laughs> and then to my left hand side, Jax Max. How are you doing? Huh? I did very well. <laughs> very, very nice. So we'll be going into um, all the club matches for this weekend. And of course, we will touch on the AFCON final, the preview for the AFCON final. We have a watch along during that match. So um, please be here for that one. So, um, the first game we are going to talk about is Friday's Manchester United match. Manchester United versus Middlesbrough in the FA Cup. Danny, master with you. <laughs> as usual. As usual, uh, <laughs> ain't nobody go fear expect uh, Middlesbrough to come Old Trafford. Come surprise anybody, you know. Everybody expects United to win, especially for Pogba coming back, you know. To be very exciting to see Pogba back inside the midfield. So, I expect my United to come out victorious. And then, um, Jax. Normally, you should expect a big team to win, you know, but at the cup, this and we all know the magic, the purported magic of the FA Cup. 
Um, nobody expected with me that they move out, uh, Nottingham Forest to remove us now, but they remove us now. And yeah. then anything can happen. Now the cup be this. Now, now the cup be this, and during for this cup, we don't see we don't see a lot of surprises. Yeah, they yeah. get when we get even remove Man City. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. understand? So anything they possible, mm-hmm. even if expectedly we know we the people just believe say Man is supposed to win, mm-hmm. but now cup give away then just ahead. So so anything they possible, even if Man is supposed to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting, and then uh, anything they possible. So w- w- which kind of scholar do you expect? If you want to predict. If I want predict, if I want predict, I will add the I go I go predict my you winning with a large margin, mm. but nobody thing I want me mm. when for this kind of games them even if at the end of the day my you go win the match I mm. do, I will I will make the the small team maybe first first call, score goal so I go do so, so I go hard small make the match yeah make the small. match the interesting and all that but mm. at the end of the day probably a four one or something. Mm. Oh, yeah, my wins with four one. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. And then um, Saturday, the FA Cup still um, Man City versus Fulham. <laughs> if you want to send message to the Fulham fans as they go at the for this marriage, go tell them. Now to just come enjoy the pitch, enjoy Guardiola football, enjoy Guardiola football. <laughs> Feed their eyes with good passes, then go as with trash. <laughs> <laughs> And, and normally Guardiola, we 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 know him for domestic cup for England. He go, he go continue from Rennes Stop, Yes, Pep will continue from Rennes Stop because the players just come back from break, so he go and fire most of them in for their next game. So I feel say no matter the squad when they put in, Fuan go still run full, till their belly full, then collect as their belly full go as. Fuan go run full, and then um, another game in the FA Cup, another walkover as they look for paper share, Chelsea. Versus Plymouth, the early kick of that. What did you expect from that man? That one, uh, as you talk, that one, uh, now walkover match. Mm. You understand? Now, mm. match with Chelsea, they just, at least, a person like Lukaku is supposed to carry that match and take, take final. Big form, have you? You understand? Him mm. and, him and, um, uh, Vienna and the rest of yes, them. Yes, Vienna and the rest of them. Mm. They're supposed to carry that match, take pick four. Mm. You understand? Mm. Would they expect like five knots mm. or five one? We just say this other people just mm. try to score. So, mm. The match now, match now, walk over match. Man, um, Chelsea is supposed to win them well, yeah. At, suppose, by, 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 suppose by half time mm. that match was on end. Mm. That, that which suppose, yeah, but Jan Danny, suppose I <laughs> would work with the suppose government. <laughs> you suppose just keep that match because <laughs> again, we um, at least we don't need to wait for first half 20 minutes that game supposed to only done and dusted but if there's any delay at least first half should be done in that game and i, I don't expect most of our big boys to start near us Barkley, loftus chic exactly. kennedy and one or two so we just run off that game so because you get what club cup where they come in but you can put them i expect them maybe 15 minutes to go to just come shake up their weight a little bit so I walk over again uh, and, and then um, how, how your lineup will look your lineup you will make you will make wholesale changes if you have to choose a lineup for that game yes at least Odoi, Avat in the front court for some time now he never kicked the ball yeah. then kennedy too then ross barkley loftus chic sahu i don't expect Giorgio to start then there must be liqueta and anyhow the back line youth then not even arazabalega i was a uh, third goalkeeper so just mix you, like that. Everything you know I want to ask you: If if Chelsea win the FA Cup, crash out of the Champions League, finish third, you go there okay? Yeah, it, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. Third with the FA Cup, maybe with the World Club Cup, mm. Carling Cup to on our side. Mm. I think we had a good season. And how serious if you say the coach to take this this FA Cup of return? I not even go with this line of way they suggest. He's definitely not taking it as serious. Yes, I feel say right now the vital thing with our front and that what club cup, not even this FE Cup because you know go to put up a lineup we go we go cause us any harm. You know, uh, the only thing we say we use this FE Cup make preparation for the World Club Cup with the good. So I know go seem surprise if he still put up a strong lineup because I remember one of our Carling Cup game, yeah, yeah. I be our FE Cup game in start full squad, which I was very very surprised. So. The man, when he touch him, he go just surprise you with anything. But I know if you say he go take this game that serious to risk most of our big boys. Yeah. Interesting one. And then over to Italy now, the Italian league. There's a big game on Saturday, the Milan derby, Inter Milan versus AC Milan. And the current uh, front runners they chase the league title, but uh, Inter they in more form. What did they expect from that game? 
um the melanda be no yeah. no be the way we eat in on the those days when when mm-hmm. when the likes of Sidorf and Ancelotti and all those mm. people they be there. Nesta, he, we, uh, Zanet. The, mm. the, the, the flare don't drop and all that. But sure. I just feel say these two teams, then they pick up back. You understand? Yeah. For the past, uh, how many seasons now? You can see, say, Inter don't they try to see how this is, mm. then they take them, then come carry the decision. Carry the so both of them they try to find their, 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 uh, this thing back to the top. Then if you check this season to both teams they play well this season too you understand so the milan that we go it think will make sense it could be very interesting mm. i they expect i they expect a draw mm. or a narrow with milan winning um a inter winning with like a narrow maybe a two one or a, a two one or three two that kind of thing yeah a two one or a three two no three two go hard then they just go go like that mm. two one or a one not I they expect Inter Milan to win because if you see that it, um, Italian league, if you see Inter Milan just gets one edge over every other team, no matter how difficult the game they, Inter Milan will always come up with this with this lucky winning, not just lucky winning with a good football. Yeah. So if, if you say right now for the Italian league, Inter Milan are the most balanced, and then get the most balanced team to feel come against any of their opponent for that their league. So if you say Inter Milan. Go steal the victory. And we'll then that, the that AC Milan boy we did their team now. Chalanolu. Now he scored. Now he scored. And uh, I think he scored penalty. Against, yeah, he scored AC. penalty. <laughs> AC Milan. <laughs> but then we still be home. Martinez is going equalize. So, that guy's team, man, is crazy. It's crazy. So a lot of battles ready on the pitch and off the pitch, of course. But the Milan derby. I can talk, you know, be, you know, be the way you've been before, but no, you, know, be the way you don't they pick up that flavor, yeah, small, small. yeah. And then, anything the way Ibrahimovic they involved, always they very, very impressive. Uh, with him, plenty <laughs> talks and all this, <laughs> and then over to Germany now. Bayern Munich, Leipzig, um, Leipzig, Leipzig, they finished second in the league last season. Then Bayern Hong Kong collect their best players, <laughs> collect their coach. Now they struggle, the day I think fifth, I'll be sixth for the league, and they, they are not doing as well as they should. But this kind of match, it takes. A team we supposed to be big team to step up and you know the way thing they happen but how you see that match uh the match on paper mm. and how weak the lip the, uh lipstick don't they mm. you can just you, anybody you see and go just one give um uh by a the victory winning. you yeah. understand but we don't know the of late so it's on, most times when you don't feel say by go win then you just feel come up come come shock you and all that you mm. understand mm. But this this match be like match with Bayern supposed to be, mm. and now now winning for Bayern. Winning for Bayern? Yeah, winning for Bayern. You know, say two of them don't like for eight matches now. Leipzig never feed defeat Bayern Munich for eight of their meetings. Mm. So now draw Bayern, draw Bayern, draw Bayern for eight straight games. So the highest way Leipzig feed get now draw, but normally now now Bayern Munich go always come out for the game well so i feel say bayern go win or draw for the game bayern win or draw and then if it, not really a big game but an interesting game because you get some narratives inside um everton versus brentford fa cup 2 i, I think that's okay fa cup 2 and lampard first game with uh Dele Alli and van de beek and the rest and of course christian Eriksen if he play for ben, brentford on that day too uh, so now now one game where we could peep at least we want eye to know what thing happened based on the way they involved but uh you go, you go you, that match did they interest you for the way they move? yeah the match the, the, the that match will be an interesting match because mm. that match we, mm. we won't see how lampard mm. want assemble the team yeah, yeah. and the fact they don't bring Dele Alli and, and um, um van der beek yeah they won't know which of them will start mm-hmm. you understand we know mm-hmm. say um you supposed to integrate them slowly into the team you understand but because of how badly the team don't they play it just be like um wait waiting with this guy um for Aston Villa when um Kotil we come, come. okay okay you understand yeah, yeah. they didn't enter we see the impact we make now mm-hmm. so we don't know if Lampard should so go make that kind of thing like maybe if it start one of them maybe mm-hmm. Van der Beek mm-hmm. Van der Beek they sure to start mm-hmm. pass even yeah, daily pass daily like, yeah, because if they more sharp match sharpness yes mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. so uh, w- the match would be interesting and how good how good would it be to see uh, Christian Eriksen mm-hmm. play football again very good no when he was at Tottenham he was one of my favorite midfielders in terms of free kick you know corner kick everything set so piece, set piece, piece, piece I'm short, short. I'm short no your prayer and I make him ball no cross your defense going to your keeper 
So I'll be very excited to see him. But that thing happened to her and fear just they catch me, you know, because when when that thing happened to her, man, man it was not easy. Uh, just imagine say I'll be engineer brother. You know, to see that kind of I'm waiting to go advise him. <laughs> so now only I know how in the feel, and I for like to watch that game to see how if he cope, you and know, the with the pressure, the track back, and everything. So, but he's, he's a very good player, and I would love to see him again. Mm, interesting. And then um, to Sunday now, Sunday, uh, Barca Atletico. You can find us at Atletico still get the edge over Barca, mm-hmm. you understand? Mm-hmm. They'll be defending champions. Mm-hmm. This season, I know just you no know, waiting halfway, they know just fit click, the way they take click, win, win the league and all that. Yeah. But then they try back past Barca. Mm-hmm. If you watch their games, them well, you can see the how then they. So they did try past Barcelona and all that. Mm-hmm. Now back I don't buy new players. Mm-hmm. Those new players now will no know how they even before you buy even before the players then come. Back at their last matches then. Mm-hmm. As their last few matches then you see say the Barcelona team don't they improve. Yeah. Even though they play against Madrid for the Super Cup, we at the end of the day Madrid win them. We see that back a fighting spirit when they come back, you know, Madrid will score them, they score Madrid back and all that. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, Madrid won. Mm-hmm. But if they see that this is so with person like Aubameyang and um, Ferran Torres mm. and um, Adama and Adama Adama mm. Traore coming now. Mm. The waiting mm. Javi don't su- successfully do now. And I say, in see the whole possession. I say, but they hold the possession. But when he then go forward mm. for that final, this uh, this you know, you know, the few years you, you understand? So now we don't put bring players we get speed. Mm. Mm. You understand? And then the pass still they no forget. Uh, no, the mm-hmm. is the but in the injured since mm-hmm. and I make even mm-hmm. then in the same match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now nah, in, in the combat, but you know they that's that fit to start. Yeah, I yeah. doubt if he go start. You mm-hmm. understand? So with these players, and uh, one, I would like to see how Javi one put them for that for the position mm-hmm. in the play now. I want to see how them go fit transition for that position now with this um, speed. These players they get speed. These basic players mm-hmm. see how they fit Karam result to go. Real Madrid versus uh, Granada. Anything they expect in Madrid, then they focus mm-hmm. clear on top of the league. Yeah, I, I expect Madrid to win, but I don't know why Madrid and Granada again they are lead draw. Mm-hmm. They are two down at one, least one side must for win. the past seventeen matches. They never, they never draw. Mm-hmm. Madrid don't win sixteen. Mm-hmm. Granada don't win one. So this game, you know, go see draw. So who go win? Madrid, no, Madrid go win. Go win. <laughs> <laughs> with the um, form, yeah, with the form with Madrid, they were Junior and Benzema. You know, two of them this season they are just. Then just they like fire away you the pull inside. Nothing to expect than more fire, more fire. Yeah. So I expect Real Madrid to win with good performance. Good performance. And then another game to keep your eyes on uh, in the Italian league on Sunday. Venezia versus uh, Napoli. I think uh, Victor Osimen versus uh, David Okereke. So if you follow up Nigerian players, that's another game to to look at or look forward to. Lille versus PSG. Man. And it is special. <laughs> that, that match could be interesting because mm-hmm. PSG need to try at all this yes. season. Yes, and league no more. Don't forget the league. Now they be champions of exactly. <laughs> they, are, they are the current champions. They are the, champions. They are the reigning champions. Yeah. yeah. So mm. the match could be the, the match. The match could be a tough match. Mm. Messi never mm. really they show for that for at that this thing. You understand? Agreed. They, mm. they, they, even their coach self don't tire. The new one come and just one leave that place. Come my mm. you understand? But now. <laughs> Now mm-hmm. say okay for my you the space no good till end of season and mm-hmm. all that. If not that guy one run, mm-hmm. the team, the you know if you just blend them, the yeah. big names then just too plenty. Mm-hmm. Players will get ego and all that, just too plenty. Players will, if you come out them, if you come out this one, if you bench this one, mm-hmm. you go problem good day, yeah. just two days. So and all that. They then get uh, um, big names for attack, but their midfield no day anywhere. Mm-hmm. So that transition they you no know, day they are, they are the midfield as they fit transit if you play the ball make it in go reach the the, uh, the attack, attack mm-hmm. you understand so i i didn't look say that much if he draw mm-hmm. or lead if he even win them and then the final game the final final game we'll talk about now the afcon final we will just um breeze past the third place match because um cameroon versus Burkina faso i think cameroon is uh, going to win it cameroon suppose, suppose. yes yeah. so cameroon uh, suppose. support them <laughs> <laughs> so Cameroon suppose, but uh, all eyes on the final on Sunday and uh, Egypt versus Senegal. Remember to tell you. <laughs> say, <laughs> say once Egypt reach that final, Senegal, Senegal will win them. But me, I want, I, I, the 
Yeah, the Senegal team strong. Yeah. You understand? Then now Senegal are one of the team, now one of the most balanced teams that we yeah. get correct, correct players ready for different big teams. And they don't do it together for long. For long, you mm, understand? Just like now they find now and they nah, blend nah. now, yes, you understand? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mane, they in the really they lead them in the in the waiting captain supposed to in the show and for pitch. Mm. They, you understand? They see yeah. the performance when they put up. But then this Egyptian side, they get one kind of tactics when they use when when you they attack <laughs> penalty them. tactics. No, no. Apart from the pe- <laughs> penalty tactics, that the final mm. one. Mm. When you they when they know say so you they attack them, mm. they, they kill the game. Before you yeah. know, they don't fall. Mm-hmm. They don't waste time. Like that. They don't. Gabas and then they, tricks. By that way, they go. They go on tricks. They finish. Mm. You where they you where they you you where they rush them. Mm. Your the pressure you're don't, your, you don't you they don't weak, you understand? Mm. And they don't they do that thing since they come. You understand? And it's in the work for them. Yeah. You understand? And then get a belief, say this is your keeper, go catch pen and pass your own keeper. <laughs> so if the match too hard them, then go drag the match, go reach pen. Uh, then believe it. Go meet for there. And another thing again, you say. Their players are be play penal. Yeah. If you watch the penal, the, ah, the penalty difference. They... If you watch the penalties, the way their players then they take, you mm-hmm. go no, you go no say this with them. Then they plan for the penal. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Then they take their penals mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. But I, I not go like make that match go reach penal. I go like make one team win. Okay, so Senegal okay. gas rush them to me. Now we yes. can tell you that yes. first twenty minutes. Yes. Senegal yes. just gas try score. Yeah, just rush like them. just like today now. Mm-hmm. The, that first 20 minutes, Cameroon missed two chances. Yeah. Wait for them to kill the game. Mm. That final, that final. You still feel Egypt, Abi? Egypt. For Egypt. Afcon number eight. Egypt, Egypt, you win. No. Egypt, Egypt, you win. Egypt, Egypt then gets that experience mm-hmm. for to win yeah. for, for this competition. Egypt are the most experienced. Yeah. Um, African side for yeah. this competition. Yeah. Now nah, they don't. They don't. You see, I, imagine that they, they, they don't even start the competition well now. Mm-hmm. First match they lose to us. We win them well. We True. play them well. True. But as the game, as the competition, they progress. Mm. Then they improve. Mm. Their performance they improve, and they don't carry that performance to reach finals. Mm. So I just feel it with the experience and everything, and see them get a top player like Salah. Just as this put them get money. Yeah. At the end of the day, Egypt might just based on experience. Yes, based on experience. Senegal don't win zero half con, Danny, but um, the way the way they be, Namani versus Salah, and then yeah. na na experience in winning versus a team we won't achieve and we get the tools to achieve. But which way they see that final will go? I feel say that final I'm a 50-50. Just that once what they admire by Egypt and uh, now their movement of the ball. But I don't say the pitch is them today against Cameroon. But even when they play Nigeria, despite say we win them, but you see, then they they are very composed when they are when they are with the ball. Mm. So I I feel say this Senegal team gets enough energy and bite to follow anything where Egypt want through. All these their delay tactics, them the the Senegal boys speed they their body to fit to fit full up and then they're very good for counter and then get speed for their front and inside their midfield energy they men, are men they, they are so. So Egypt go really fine and very difficult. But if Senegal want to win this game, they need to approach the game very fast. But they need to make sure say Egypt no assess that midfield. No. So I they use one eye, they look say Senegal if you just steal the game. But any anybody they first score go play a very, very vital role for the final. Yeah, because first Egypt score. First score, they go roll to first score. Minutes. Yeah, first score go play big role. <laughs> yeah, if Egypt if Egypt first score, then go roll to <laughs> even if Egypt no score, then go roll. They go they roll. They go they roll. <laughs> because they roll it, they are following for their tactics. Yeah. Now they do without their coach, they do without their assistant coach, but then their legendary goalkeeper. Um I think he he along him and um Rigo Bell song now they don't appear for the highest number of AFCON, you know so based on experience of being there now he's a good person to have on the touchline even if your coach know the by the time you look the man and now they are goalkeeper coaching this so probably in go push them over the line but i still if you say this thing now you don't they smell senegal <laughs> senegal <laughs> so but we, we go, go see we go like something new if, uh-huh. they, 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 if egypt carry out if egypt win them now they don't carry them eight times so we be nigeria, nigeria see they, th- ah. see three, they, they don't, don't give us five guys imagine so they we, give we, we, three. we want we want mm. a, something new we want mm. make another make it, it will be people. something new guys <laughs> well, at, the, at, the, at the end of the day we go we go talk the way we will see and you may see and based on the so you defeat that prophecy that prophecy video will come to pass like this uh, right? the prophecy video <laughs> said <said, laughs> come oh, but yeah. me i know football i know they, i know they, i know believe all those prophecy and all those don't attach football, football with, with all those with spirituality yes mm-hmm. i know i don't like that one at mm-hmm. all 
You understand? I, because if you check where nobody, no team for this world play rich Nigerian team. <laughs> Why would never Half time with the pray. Full time, time with the pray. pray. <laughs> extra extra time with the pray. You so why would they win? Win Champions League. Why would they win? 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 Why would they yeah, yeah uh, I, I believe say it could be Egypt based on experience. You understand? Uh, Wait, I say they get, I say they get, I say they get salary. I want just, I want just see where that pastor see from on Sunday. <laughs> Rather than from Bible where they open when you see from, I mean a Bible where they close when you see from. <laughs> So it is Sunday. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, of course, on Sunday, we'll be having a watch along for the AFCON final. So I beg, don't miss it. Don't miss it. And then uh, Saturday, we have match interviews from the Plymouth versus Chelsea game. And then Friday, we, we will have a live calling show just at the Man United match, the end for about one hour. And then that's a wrap. Uh, that's about everything for the weekend. So that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday sorted. Thank you for so much for always being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Stokes. You can follow me on my personal instagram handle this one here you can follow him on his personal instagram handle this one here chop now <laughs> this one here and of course you can follow jacks max on his personal instagram and twitter handle this one here so just follow 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 football fan tribe just check the description you'll see a breakdown of all our social links so thanks for always being here thanks for supporting thanks for watching as always and uh, see you soon <laughs>